Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a reading vlog and I am so sorry about all the dust things that are flying around let's move guys before we get started on the video look at this beautiful sweater do you not see how look at what it says a book club university thank you to vivian for getting me this because she understands my heart i will be wearing this sweater a lot as you guys can tell from the title i'm finally going to dive back into the shatter me series when i did my reading vlog for shatter me i did immediately pick up this book with the intention of filming the reading log for unravel me which is why i have a bookmark in here because i did start it but then i stopped so i'm ready to come back and read this book because it's been a while i need to refresh on some of the characters like where we left off i also have my tabs color coordinated to the cover of this book if you guys notice that my upper lip is very red it's because i did just put on removal hair cream that's why it's like <sighs> oh yeah and don't forget spoilers the whole way through so if you have not read this one i recommend you guys don't watch this video unless you guys want to read it with me at the same time let's just get started officially for real let's do a recap of shatter me and how it ended and at what point does this book begin based off of memory we have juliet who escaped or got away from wherever Aaron was oh gosh I forgot what that place was called prison so she Kenji who's her lover oh my god I know his name Ali? no 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 Adam oh my god Juliet Adam Kenji Adam's little bro they all escape to this what is this place I don't know where they escape but they make their way to this place in which the reestablishment is not aware of yeah so the end of shatter me juliet and the boys make their way to this new place where juliet discovers that people have powers and she's not alone kenji has powers i think it's invisibility adam is powerless they meet castle and he's in charge of so i'm just gonna say it's the rebels for now until we read the book and we find out what it was called again because i really don't remember juliet and the others they're all part of the rebels against the establishment establishment warner goes crazy and he is on his way to find juliet because he has this weird obsession which i honestly i am not against it i'm totally ready for aaron to win me over in this book you guys have been letting me know in the comments exactly who i should be rooting for yeah i know i'm aware but he has his moments and warren was very crazy it was too much for me in the first book and adam was the one that did things for me but now we're gonna go to the second book where i'm sure slowly we're going to get more juliet and warner moments adam is gonna transition into this second lead let's go it's 4 p.m right now let's see how much i can get done today so their powers are called energies every time i see chaos now i can't help but think of the witcher it makes me wonder if i lived here what would my energy be or would i just be powerless and not special sorry adam ain't my fault you don't got powers oh, wait not everyone has power but i like to imagine that i could be a juliet i still don't know where they are at Juliet, you have to let me know where you guys are at. Remind me. Wait, did she miss the shot intentionally or not on purpose? Because I remember by the end, Juliet touched Warren and nothing happened to Warren. So we still need to find out exactly how come Adam and Warner are immune to her powers. Like, I want to know. Can we trust Castle? Is he one of the good ones? Will he actually help Juliet? Is he going to be a father figure to Juliet? Because that is going to be so sweet. Finally at the part where I put my bookmark, which is page eight. <gasps> Omega point! Right, right, right. That is exactly where they are. I knew that. She has roommates? Girl, I don't remember any of it. Oh, she's afraid of rejection. I really do like Juliet and Adam together. Fine, and 
he can be her first love, but it's not going to last. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Adam. We finally got the word unravel, even though there's an ing at the very end. Am I focusing too much on the romance aspect of this series and not really at the plot? Because I promise you, I care about the plot. I love this line so much. They're being very handsy. Adam is kissing all over Juliet. He says, God, you feel so good. Okay. I mean, I like it, but I also feel so weird to say it out loud. And then she says, well, she doesn't say it, but... And my heart has flown to the moon without me. This is so cute. I love it when he says that to me. I love it when he tells me that he likes the way I feel because it goes against everything I've heard my entire life. And I wish I could put his words in my pocket just to touch him once in a while and remind myself that they exist. Oh, bitch. No, 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 no. I'm very affected by these two. It's so unfair. I don't do second lead syndrome, but he doesn't feel like a second lead right now, so you can't blame me. Um, I thought he was possessed for a second. He kisses her everywhere on the face, on the neck, and then he suddenly bangs his head against a wall. You can't flinch when she tries to touch you. Oh my god, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was like something very serious, but it's more like I'm in love with you and I can't stop thinking about you and I can't go to sleep without thinking about you. You're always on my mind. So this is about love and lust. If this were a regular rom-com book, I would be melting. I would be so on board with what he's saying. But knowing that he's a second lead, like while I really love Adam and Juliet together, the way his gaze lingers on the lines of her body, oh no, I feel like my brain is telling me to stop liking this couple. If I fall any deeper into the Adam and Juliet hole, I'll never come out of it. So I'm forcing myself to be disgusted by everything that's happening between them. No, like let's just enjoy it for now. <laughs> I like how in the beginning of this book I was, oh my god, they're so cute. And I'm on page 20. Three, I'm just like, please don't go that far. I don't want it. Wait, does he want it or does he not? I am so lost. And Juliet is also feeling uncertain right now. I thought things were going great. And then he just can't control himself, but he's controlling himself, but he's acting like he don't want this, but he says he wants this. And then Julia is in her head like, yeah, I do want this. Like, you don't know how much I want what you want. But then they're both very uncertain and trying to pull back. That's not what Castle thinks. What? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean Castle's right? Did I miss something? So Castle thinks that the reason Adam is able to touch Juliet is because he might have some sort of energy. Does that mean that Warren... Warren? Who the hell is Warren? I mean Warner. Does it mean that Warner also has a power because he's able to touch Juliet? Juliet thought that, oh, it's because he loves me for me and I love him that he's able to touch me. But it's not that. He probably has some sort of ability. I don't know. I said he was powerless in the beginning. So does everyone just have powers? How do people have powers? This is the point in Adam and Juliet's relationship where things start to fall apart, huh? I find this completely hilarious. So someone says, hey, gorgeous. And then Juliet's like, something lumpy hits me in the back, falls to the floor. I turn around, my face flexing the 43 muscles required to frown before I see him. Kenji. I just know this is the comedic duo that we very much need. Oh my gosh, I actually wanted to show you guys a bookmark that I made for myself. <laughs> I know, it's so cute, right? <laughs> and in the back. <laughs> I know, I am so proud. We are definitely going to get comedy with these two because look at this. Why did you bring a pair of socks here? I cut them off. People are trying to eat. He freezes for only a split second before he rolls his eyes, pulls up beside me, tugs on my ponytail. I was running late to meet you, your highness. I didn't have time to put my socks on. He gestures to the socks in his hands and the boots on his feet. That's so gross. You know, you have a really strange way of telling me you're attracted to me. Oh, Kenji. I wouldn't call those feelings of attraction, but you do you. Aw, she says I've forgotten how much easier it is to breathe around him. 
It seems natural to laugh when he's near. So I keep walking and I'm careful not to say a word, but a smile is still tugging at my lips as I grab a tray and head into the heart of the kitchen. That is so cute! They give me brother and sister vibes. I'm really liking that because we don't need another love interest in this book Oh my gosh, this boy Kenji on pages 34 and 35 Kenji this man has no bounds. I love his humor. He's so humble Their friendship is going to be so solid by the end of the series. I can just tell how tight it's gonna be friendship Okay, only friendship here. The fact that Kenji doesn't mind being near Juliet, even though he could die, that is some real solid friendship right there. I'm making some homemade boba so I can enjoy it with my dinner that I made yesterday and I'm just gonna heat it up today. So I wanna drink good stuff while I read good books. So this is the food that I made yesterday. I have some beef and broccoli and I also have some leftover rice. So we're gonna eat, drink, and read usually people would have wine but i don't really drink alcohol they're not my cup of tea you guys will probably think it's so disgusting i'm actually just putting bubbles in orange juice because i like it dinner time let's just enjoy some food while i read i don't normally read a physical book while I eat. I want to get as much of this book done today as I possibly can, which I don't think I'm going to get halfway. We'll see. I want to drink a sip of this first. Mm, 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 mm. I like it. The bubble is so chewy. And orange juice is, orange juice is good. Cheers. Damn. You guys, I know Julia really wants to find out what's happening with Adam, but that is no way to treat Kenji. He's your friend. Well, this is why I don't read and eat at the same time. This is so inconvenient. Why am I doing this? Adam is shirtless and he's strapped. In some other place at some other time, this would have been someone's kink. Juliet is crazy. I like it. Damn, this girl just like <laughs> the floor and it crumbled and everyone's just like looking at her. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am ready to continue reading. I am on page 88 now. So Adam has the ability to disable things. So let's just read this together because we're about to find out more information on why Adam has been acting so weird. This is so sad. So basically, in order for Adam to be with Juliet, he has to work overtime on his body. So it's just never gonna work out with Adam and Juliet. So what is Warner's power? How is he immune to Juliet's power? Now that he knows and he's aware, he's more cautious about touching her, which makes sense. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so sad. I'm on page 97 on top when he says, it doesn't feel okay, Julia. It feels like the opposite of whatever the hell okay is. And I really just want to hold you. Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. Did Adam change in the end? Is that what happened? Because there is just no way. <gasps> he doesn't die, does he? No, stop thinking so negative. <laughs> now that that could be a possibility, I'm really scared. Do I want him to turn evil? No, I don't want him to turn evil, but I don't want him to die either. Oh my gosh, the dilemma. It got so hot and steamy, Adam had to go to the medical wing. I need to say something. Warner needs to hurry up and appear before I fall deeper into the Juliet and Adam hole. They have these moments and I really, really do adore the two of them together. So if Warner doesn't get his ass here quick, he needs to stop my mind from swaying. We're on page 104 and Mans is still absent. I've been waiting for this, but actually reading her saying that she's been thinking about Warner too much when her um, other man is still laying on a hospital bed is like, 
<laughs> Juliet. I know I said I want Juliet and Warner like to hurry up and be a thing, but still, like it hasn't even been a chapter yet, and she's already revealing how much she's been thinking about him. Right now they're going out, right? And it's just that Warner is also patrolling Sector 45, and they are in Sector 45. Something tells me that. Warner is going to come across them and recognize Juliet right away. Chapter 20. First word I see is Warner. I had forgotten that Warner had green eyes. I did remember he had golden hair. Juliet is definitely attracted to Warner. I find this so funny. He is a strange, strange, twisted boy. Why is that low-key endearing? I'm on page 137 for those who are wondering and I'm about to flip the page. Don't disappoint me. scared me i thought he shot the dog but that was just juliet half expecting him to oh okay warner had to look around to make sure no one was seeing this and then he picked up the dog because he's a softy on the inside i never once doubted him wait he's bringing the dog somewhere i kind of want her to go and see he's doing it for the team okay <sighs> Warner being an animal lover, yes. No, I'm pretty sure he sees her, right? Because he sees her and then Kenji comes up from behind, right? It looks like Warner thinks he saw her for a split second and then Kenji came, so he was doubting himself. This is really one of the greatest purchases I've ever made. But this is what it looks like without the light. This is at level two. The breakup officially happened it's sad but it was inevitable i'm on page 187 i want to note that i'm really loving kenji and juliet's interaction so far they have this brother and sister relationship although it's kind of weird that kenji literally spies on her but other than that yeah they give me brother and sister wait so the father is aware that omega point is a real thing i know they know that there is a rebellion against the reestablishment, but they knew about Omega Point. If he wants to negotiate, it means he knows, right? The he being Warner's father. No, not Winston and Brendan. This can't be a book where we actually lose characters that I might possibly like. No, it's way too early. They're not gonna die. No way. I swear. I just love this. Okay, well, torturous for Adam and Kenji being himself. And this part right here in the middle, every time Kenji's like, I am not here to hear about your love story. <laughs> He's like so over it. Yeah, have you seen Kenji like that? A man can get anyone. Wow guys, it's 11 now. I think it's almost been an hour. I am currently on page, page of my own. I'm on 229 chapter 35 i'm definitely halfway through now let's see how much more i can read before i call it a night so i'm on page 233 and i thought we should be reading this together because something is about to happen super commander anderson i'm just gonna call him anderson because i'm not calling him no supreme commander so anderson warner's dad hands Warner the gun to shoot <laughs> Juliet. That's where we left off. Let's flip. Oh my god, look, I kind of thought he would do that, but I didn't actually think I was gonna read him doing that. I can't stop smiling. Okay, in case you guys did not know what happened, Warner points the gun at his father. Wait, she doesn't know that his name was Aaron? I have no interest in killing her. Fine, I'll do it then. <laughs> her and I'll put a bullet through your skull. <gasps> Okay. <clears throat> Control. He's asking you to shoot him. So shoot him. Excuse you. Is the dad gonna die soon? Because I actually don't want to keep reading this man. She did what? If you think about it, she's doing this to save her life, but she's defending Warner. Her gloves are off, right? Oh, she doesn't even need to take her gloves off. Well, she's so cool right now. No one told you to talk so much shiz in the beginning. Now you're looking so weak. Does she know what she's doing right now? Is she in control? Oh my gosh, she shot both legs. Damn, Juliet. Is she actually gonna kill him? 
You can't end the chapter like that. So we won't know if he's dead until the next chapter. Okay, granted, chapter 37 is really short, so let's speed through this. No! Why can't she kill him? That's why I cannot be a leader or whatnot because I am so driven by emotions like this. Okay, I don't know about real life, but in books, I'm just very impulsive. I'm just like, just do it. The guards are for later. No, but you can't let him leave because now Anderson knows Juliet's powers. Wasted opportunity. Kenji, stop being so reasonable right now. Yeah, Kenji, let her do it. Let her finish the job. Too soon. I don't think it's too soon. I mean, he's prepared to go to war. They're about to go all out. You've done a great job. I'm totally behind you 100%, Juliet. You did what you needed to do. You had to save your man. No, you're going to leave Warner there? Okay, you're gonna take Warner hostage. I'm smiling because it means this is when it all really begins. I don't even think Anderson wants his son back. So it's a game for a mega point. What? What? Who's whose father? Okay, so Adam, Warner, James, brothers? I did not see this coming at all. Was there ever mention of a father in book one? Okay, now I'm totally regretting not reading this book right away because all the information that i absorbed from book one vanished if they're brothers it must mean that warner does have some ability too okay this whole scene right here so would i and i wish she did Lo he just gave her a nickname guys i'm so very very tired love is she your love okay but i really like it yes just notice those dimples don't care about anything else. And I'm gonna put a stop to it right now. I'm on page 278. I'm gonna start chapter 46 tomorrow. I read a lot today. I'm really proud of myself. Things are getting really interesting now that Warner is in Omega Point where all the important characters are. I don't even know how I want this book to end. Good morning guys. Let's just get back to reading. I'm just gonna get right back into it because no time to waste. Chapter 47. I love how the chapters in this book are kind of short, but some of them are just two pages long. I'm annoyed at that sound and also what just happened. <sighs> She's just asking if you're okay and don't take it like that because if she touches you you die That's why I'm so sorry Adam. It just won't happen. She's not meant for you She's meant for your brother You guys did try and then you end up being in the medical unit because she almost killed you There are a few things we have to remember Juliet was the one who shot Anderson in the legs and then uh, um, Kenji is the one who's saying that he did it to keep it a secret. It's another secret that Juliet has not told anyone and it's the fact that Warner can't touch her. And what is with these brothers being able to touch her? Does Warner have the same power as Adam where he can disable things? But I don't think that because that would mean that Warner also would not be able to be with Juliet. Yeah, I don't know why Kenji's covering for you too. Something is going on. Juliet, you're not out of control. This is exactly what I've been wanting from you. Because what she did, the scene where she caused the ground to fall, that was that was perfect. She can do so much damage. It's insane. <laughs> this is so funny. Warner says you're so lovely when you're blushing. He says that to Julia, but he's like, but I wish you wouldn't waste your affections on someone who has to beg for your love. He cocks his head at Adam. How sad for you. This must be terribly embarrassing. I hate to break it to you, Warner, but you're kind of begging for Juliet's love too. You haven't won her over yet. Warner, <laughs> you funny man. Are these brothers going to become good friends in the end? Just because one of them can't get the girl doesn't mean that they can't embrace the fact that they're brothers. This is Vampire Diaries all over again. Just because I'm going to hell doesn't mean you'll ever deserve her. 
Are you saying that you think you deserve Juliet, Warner? She did you in the arm for kissing her. Without her permission, so I don't know, you got a lot to work for. That was page 291. That is so cool, so James has self-healing powers. Damn, these brothers. We have one that can self-heal, we have one that's, that can disable. You know, I don't have enough imagination to be able to predict what Warner's powers are. Maybe he's the opposite of what Juliet is, which I don't know what that is, but uh-oh, why is Cancel angry? Oh, so... Warner, you big mouth! You told Castle that you can touch her? But yeah, the sooner Castle knows, the more they can perform experiments on Warner. I don't know how much I want that. Is she gonna go crazy when she sees Warner strapped in? Yeah, Warner is one of you! <gasps> Gasp! We did not know that. Wait, if all these brothers have powers, wouldn't that mean Anderson has some kind of energy? Unless it's the mothers. Like, how do people just come to be with abilities. I do want to know why Julia did not tell anyone. Oh, she didn't want Adam to know. Adam. It always comes back to Adam. Castle has some patience. I don't know if I would be able to be in his shoes and not be like, I've had enough of your secrets, girl. If you're gonna be in this, you gotta let us know everything. But yeah, Warner doesn't even know either. Warner does not know that he has a brother. <laughs> oh my god, not not Castle telling Juliet to use this love that Warner has for her to her advantage. I was feeling very thirsty. You know what I just read? Someone is sleeping and is only wearing boxer briefs. What do you want me to do with that information? It's kind of crazy because this man is the one who had you locked up and then you see him in this new light all because of a dog. Like, really, animals changes people. The way people treat animals really tells you a lot about them. So, yeah, I would hold on to that information as well. And seeing Juliet looking at him, he was just a little boy deprived of love and the way that he treated the dog. Those are the things that I need to look out for. Those are the traits that really define Warner. Okay, she didn't say that, but in my mind, that's how I'm thinking. 19 years old is just the beginning. That it's too soon to tell anyone they will never amount to anything but evil in this world. Good for you, Juliet. You can see that Warner is capable of being a good person. Ignite? Wait a minute, what is this supposed to mean? So he has the word Ignite tattooed on his back. If there is one person who's an enemy for all of us, it's freaking Anderson. <coughs> If it gets chilly in there, why would you sleep with just your boxers? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Girl, Julia is just looking at him like he's a feast. Oh my god, stop. She cares because she's come to view you in a different light. Shouldn't you like this, Warner? Shouldn't you like the fact that she, she's asking about you? This is all happening while he's just in his black boxer briefs. Warner is making a lot of sense. It shouldn't matter. Like, if he is able to touch you, it shouldn't matter to Kent unless you have some sort of feelings for Warner. Adam can't be mad at Warner being able to touch Juliet if Juliet does not let that affect her. Mm. I can see where you're coming from. Adam is really bad for her mental state. Like, she is so unraveled when it comes to him. Are you saying that you want to be my friend? Why is that actually the sweetest thing to happen in this book? Actually, no. The first sweetest thing that happened in this book is the moment between Juliet and James. That was really cute. That was actually really sweet when he hugged her. Like, that was actually one of the cutest scenes in this entire book. This is a very touching moment between the two of them. I would like that very much, to be your friend. I'd like that. And then something in that Julia just clicks. The foundation for their friendship is how similar they are, or how Juliet sees a lot of herself in Warner. Are they really gonna be friends though? Are they like, is this really the beginning of their friendship? Warner is giving Juliet a strip tease. Okay, I'm just kidding, but I do wanna see what his tattoo is says god all these men in this book okay so adam has tattoos warner has tattoos what about kenji i need to know if kenji also has tattoos it's for science the fact that warner and juliet have scenes like this it's basically letting us know these two they're going to be a couple it's already so hot and steamy and only one of them is stripping oh my god to know a person so thoroughly so privately 
I want to study the secrets tucked between his elbows and the whispers caught behind his knees. I want to follow the lines of his silhouette with my eyes and the tips of my fingers. I want to trace rivers and valleys across the curved muscles of his body. Girl, if you tell me that she does not feel something for Warner based off of this paragraph, you're lying. This is something else. This is on another level. Like she, she has it bad for Warner. She was so distracted by his beauty, she completely forgot that he's stripping to show her the tattoo. So they're totally flirting. Okay, well, he is flirting. Warner isn't your name. Your name is Aaron. God, I love that. Your name? Only when you say it. Aaron or Warner? Look at this. Oh my God. Guys. Another. Look at that. I get so excited every time I see a title in the pages. I don't understand why Juliet just doesn't outright say the truth. Castle just told everyone that Warner can touch Juliet. And then Adam is very confused, pained, angered, and he walks away. Juliet chases after him, basically tells him, yes, it's true that Warner can touch her. But she also hides the fact that there's more to what happened. And I just don't understand why she can't just tell him i mean the truth is already partially out might as well just tell him okay also warner and i kissed well he kissed me i didn't kiss him back but it happened i don't know why she can't just say it and they're having this conversation and guess who's there warner so let's see what happens you know who warner reminds me of this scene on page 356 where warner is saying such unfortunate language. Only those who cannot express themselves intellectually would resort to such crude substitutions in vocabulary. Is it because I intimidate you, Kent? Am I making you nervous? You seem to be struggling to hold yourself together. This behavior is giving Connor from Calloway Sisters. They feel like the same character but in different environments. Put Connor in Shatter Me universe and it would manifest into Warner. Maybe it's the intelligence. Can she better be okay? Because my baby is down on the ground. This all happened so fast, I have no idea what just happened. She wasn't wearing her glove? <gasps> Did she touch Kenji? Warner says that he is able to sense energies, but he is also able to take it and use it. How does that explain? how he and Juliet are able to touch. Negative, negative equals positive, that type of scenario. My questions are gonna be answered in the next page. So everything is okay, cause he can absorb the power. How does that make any sense? But if he says that the transfer was necessary because he can't hold that power for very long, how is he able to touch her? It says he just absorbs it. Where does it go? Wait, what? So he can get some of her power and then direct it somewhere else. He can be her projection. Wow. Okay, but what happens if he just holds it in? He likes it. Okay, well, because he's a master kiss. Okay, but he doesn't feel any pain. All he feels are adrenaline and, oh wait, a little bit lightheaded, but in the best possible way. Can we do it again, this man? So if they touch each other for long periods of time, he has to let it out somewhere, so... They're just gonna destroy the room whenever they're at it. That's kind of crazy. If he touches her, does she get weaker? I know she says that she doesn't feel any weakness. Either this means she can't feel it, or she has unlimited power of destruction, which... I'm envious. I can't touch the boy I love, but I can use my touch to strengthen the boy who tried to kill the one I love. So ironic. I bet Warner was gonna ask if she wanted to leave with him, but their moment was interrupted. Warner, just stay with the Omega Point. Your crew is like right there. I have this much left and I kind of want to make a prediction about how this book is going to end, but I really have no clue. Maybe by the end of this book, hopefully no character dies. I don't want to think that Julia is going to leave Omega Point, but I think that's what's going to happen. The actual chemistry between Aaron, I just keep going between Aaron and Warner, but the chemistry between Warner and Julia is like, oh my god, it's electrifying. I don't know why, but there's like this tiny part of me that feels so bad for Adam right now. I know Julia and Adam have broken up, 
but it's like not that long ago adam was telling juliet he's not giving up on her and he will try to find a way and then warner comes and he's like giving soft kisses on her shoulder and there's that teeny tiny part of me that is just like not 100 on board i think what it is is that juliet has not completely let adam go and it feels <sighs> It feels like betrayal even though it really isn't girl there is no way he wanted friendship he wants more than friendship there is no way he's okay with that i mean he's literally kissing you right now i want to be the friend you fall hopelessly in love with i love that okay okay the one you take into your arms and into your bed and into the private world that you keep trapped in your head i want to be that kind of friend the one who will memorize the things you say as well as the shape of your lips when you say them. I want to know every curve, every freckle, every shiver of your body. Juliet. Oh my god. Okay, not two seconds ago, I was kind of complaining. And then now, Warner. His words. This is so... This is making me all giddy. That's what it is. Only lovers say things like that. He's saying he wants friendship, but the friendship he's talking about... It's the friendship between lovers. Oh my god! Yes, I do want to be your friend. I want to be your best friend in the entire world. That is actually so sweet. Oh my god. This is a whole confession. Page 396. <laughs> oh my god. They're both crazy for each other. Okay, now the guilt is coming back. Oh my gosh. No, I am so sorry, Adam. You were just never meant to be. This is this is what it's all about. It's here. It also doesn't hurt that Warner is just able to touch Juliet without feeling pain. Oh wait, they're getting into it. Stop. Am I reading this right? Are they actually... No way. They're fast. I have to keep rereading the pages just to make sure I'm reading this right. There's no way it's happening right now. She says, and I quote, I've never felt like this, not to this degree, not like every moment is about to explode, like every breath could be our last, like every touch is enough to ignite the world. No, not the forehead touching. That is one of the softest things ever to happen in romance books. Oh my god, and the nose touching? What are they doing to me? He just asked her to not call him Warner anymore. To her, he just wants to be Aaron. Oh my god. Can I even be reading this? It feels way too intimate. Ah, she just remembered Adam. Oh my god, all the guilt. Ew. At this point, she is clearly torn. She most definitely have feelings for two men. Oh, not only is she feeling so guilty, Aaron is like hurt. Aaron is hurt. There's pain. You know that they were a thing. You're choosing him? Is that what's happening? Oh my god. Oh, this just happened right after he confessed his feelings for her too. You guys were moving too fast. Like, I'm on board with you guys now. I'm totally on Juliet and Aaron's ship. But Juliet is not going to just forget Adam like that. And she's not choosing Kent over you. She needs time to think. How does she owe him anything? What are you talking about? Tell me something, love. Am I blind too? I would not be your clown. I would not allow you to make a mockery of my feelings for you. I can respect your decision to treat me, Juliet. But doing this, doing what you just did, it's the play of a coward. I thought you were so much better than that. She's torn. I don't I don't even know what to say. I have no words. I'm just gonna let them handle it. I don't want to get in the middle of this. Spill it. Just spill it out. The truth. I tell him. Is that I never know what to think of you. Your actions, your behavior, you're never consistent. You're horrible to me. And then you're kind to me. And then you tell me you love me. And then you hurt the ones I care most about. And you're a liar. You say you don't care about what you do. You say you don't care about other people and what you've done to them. But I don't believe it. I think you're hiding. Damn, she's going off too. I like this. Keep it going. Keep it up. I want them to explode. I want them to say what's on their mind. That's what you got from all of that, Warner? Come on. Okay, you know what? He's not really emotionally intelligent in this aspect. Even though he has that energy to feel what people are saying. Oh wait, maybe she does feel pity. This goodbye is not final. He just leaves like that? It's just one rejection, man. You can... 
I'm on page 427 and I'm about to flip the page. Oh, you dead. Girl, take off your gloves and touch that person right now. Wait, wait, is this person not a soldier? You guys, not three against one. See, I was gonna ask about the house, the something on Sycamore Street. Oh, wait, so it really is Anderson? Ew, why do I make it seem so soon? He lives here. Does he, is he just gonna forget that he has two other sons from a woman that he is supposed to love very much? Did Anderson make Aaron kill the mom to prove? that he was worthy. Well, you did a very, very horrible thing. Obviously, you need to be punished. Compensation. You're lucky you're still alive. Ew, the fact that he thinks Juliet would help him. What the hell? This men is so delusional. Like, what makes you think you can get Juliet to help you? Warner! What are you doing? You're telling me that Warner actually went to find his father? Warner, you're supposed to be intelligent. What is happening? No. Warner, you did not. Even if you did not know it was gonna happen, why would you tell your dad about the two girls who freaking killed your arm? That is, oh my gosh, I'm getting angry. Juliet was shot, mm-mm. So this is how he plans to bring Sonia and Sarah here. I just can't believe Warner would do that. I thought you had the ability to sense energies and, and all of that when someone is lying to you. Is Anderson that good? Were you that fooled by your father? <sighs> I'm highly disappointed right now. Are the girls healing Juliet in front of Anderson? That means Anderson is going to know that Warner has abilities too. Warner, you can't do this to us. He saved your life. Yeah, but he kind of had a part in all of this. Warren is not a simple character. Have I been saying Warren this entire time? Is the father healed? Ew, no. At least he got what he wanted. Warner and Juliet are together outside of Omega Point. So he got what he wanted. Now it's just the two of them. Where are Sonia and Sarah? There is no way Anderson does not know that Juliet is not alive. Didn't he shoot Juliet to get the twins here to heal him? Wouldn't he think that the twins would heal her too? <gasps> Unless he doesn't know. Wait, Anderson? <coughs> Juliet, the twins who were kidnapped healed Anderson, I think, because Anderson does not know that Warner is able to touch Juliet. He thinks there's no way the twins healed Juliet. So in Anderson's mind, Juliet is dead. Is that what's happening? Okay. I'm ready to do something I'll definitely regret. And this time I don't care. I'm done being nice. I'm done being nervous. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Mass chaos is in my future, and I'm leaving my gloves behind. Oh, nice. That was it. <coughs> you guys have reached the final part of this video where I give you guys my thoughts and rating. I have thought this through. And I'm gonna give this book a 4.5, but it's gonna be four stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved this book. I think you guys could tell that from my reaction to this book. It's the way that the whole book flowed and not once was I bored and not once was I not just really invested in the story. While I don't love everything that happened in this book, I can understand it. Not every person was perfect. People make mistakes and we got to see that. Hopefully in the next book, Night Me, we get to see Juliet no longer afraid of her powers and she uses it to her advantage. And Warner, I hope he doesn't disappoint me. But even though what he did in this book was not my favorite, it makes sense. No character is going to be so perfect. He grew up 19 years under his father's control that suddenly he would change all of that. So I get where he's coming from. It's just an impulse anger moment, disappointment that I was feeling a while back, but I'm cool with it now. What I hope to get more of in the next book is the found family. In this book, there was a lot of people against one another. They are not truly friends yet. Even the moments between Kenji and Adam, it still does not feel like they are friends. I just feel like Adam puts up with Kenji. It's a hope of mine that in the next book we will get a more found family I will defend you, you have my back, I have your back 
type and I hope that includes Warner. I need found family. Like I love found family in action books. It's what makes a good series in my opinion, especially when you introduce all these characters. I love to see that they grow together. Like, I want to see more of that. And with the way that this book left off, it's pretty clear that Ignite Me is going to be about Warner and Juliet mostly. It really does feel like this is the end of Juliet and Adam and the beginning for Warner and Juliet. It's so weird for me to call him Warner after he told us to call him Aaron. Right now, I'm still at odds with him. I love that man, but sometimes I just don't understand what goes through his head. As of right now, we will call him Warner. Next book, we will change all of that. This was a thick one compared to Shatter Me. A lot has happened in this. It just felt like I'm reading Juliet's story. I think it made it easy for me to just forget that time passed. When I was reading this, I was feeling whatever Juliet was feeling, so none of it felt foreign. Like, nothing felt choppy because it's exactly how she felt and it feels very... I don't know how to describe it. It really does feel like we are in Juliet's shoes. Nothing felt rushed, nothing felt out of place because it's exactly what our girl was going through. And going back to my point earlier how this is such a thick book and that I read this in less than I think 24 hours. I really do love it when I am just transported into another world when I'm reading books like this. Time just flew by. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reading vlog to Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this book, if you guys had the same reactions that I did. Stay tuned for the reading vlog to Ignite Me. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next. Bye!